France, where President Bola Tinobu is set to engage world leaders and heads of international financial corporations on the sideline of the new global financing pact holding in Paris. Upon his arrival, the Nigerian leader was received by the French Minister of Foreign Affairs in Europe, Catherine Colonna, having departed Abuja for France on Tuesday. President Tinubu will also use the opportunity of the summit to hold bilateral meetings with various countries, including officials of France, US and Switzerland, to discuss possible ways of attracting foreign direct investments. About 39 heads of state from around the world are expected to be part of the summit. Well, let's now talk to Aliyu Audu, who is Vice President Nigerian Irish Business Association. He joins me live from Abuja. Thank you for joining us on the program. Uh, the Paris Summit is talking about the need to rethink global financial architecture and also fight inequality. Uh, let's begin with how optimistic are you about um, this forum achieving its ambitious aim. Thank you very much. Um, the whole essence of this summit is for world leaders to gather and discuss potential financial problems, especially facing a developing country. And that's why we have world leaders. We have the ministers of finance of the developing countries also present. And the essence of this is to discuss challenges facing funding, because there's a lot of money trapped in the private sector, for example. And this is why the summit has been held. So it's quite important the president, uh, the president is there. And uh, this, this is a gathering with the possibility of coming out with a positive outcome. That is the whole essence of this gathering. Thank you. The essay to the president uh, um, on strategy also did mention about um, how important the summit is for the new president to network with individuals, um, leaders of government and organization for what he called foreign direct investment. What do you think um, makes this administration different from others, particularly some economic decisions the president has made in his first few days in office? What makes it more you know, feasible for the FDIs they are talking about? Oh, yes. Um, you must commend the president. He has started this, uh, he has started the job with a bang, and a lot of Nigerians are praising him. And we have a lot of needs, financial needs, infrastructural deficit, housing deficit, quite a lot of needs uh, for our country. And it is important the uh, the president goes to that summit to network with world leaders to tell them about our problems because we need to keep them informed where we might need potential finance in the future. And that is the essence of this summit. So I think it's a win-win for the government and it's a win-win for Nigerians because this is where we're going to uh, discuss our problems. We have uh, 20 million housing deficit. We have uh, billions of dollars in infrastructural deficit. We have uh, we need investment into our uh, major companies, Agile Kuta Steel Rolling Mill. We need investment in railway. As a matter of fact, I was in Dublin last year promoting investors, uh, investment into Nigeria. Currently, the foreign direct investment into Nigeria stands about over $4 billion. We need to see more than that because we have a growing population and we need to bring investment into Nigeria to create jobs, the much needed jobs, especially when you hear people talking about increase in fuel prices, inflation. We need this, we need investments. Mr. Aldo, there's the school of thought of um, the president indeed. to do this. And, uh, I'm quite impressed. The president is starting with a bang. And, uh, you know, we encourage him to keep the flag flying, to keep it up. This is what we need. We need to take Nigeria to the promised land. There is Thank the school of thought that believes in the idea of Africa looking inwards, you know, for its own development, particularly when you consider the track record of summits of this kind. In 2009, for instance, $100 billion was the goal for climate action. But we know that all these um, countries are lacking behind 
in providing the promised funds. How optimistic are you about um, this kind of collaboration moving forward vis-a-vis -vis the African ideology? Yes, no matter how much we look inward, we cannot put aside the international community. We cannot forgo them. So as much as we're looking inward to develop ourselves and to harness our resources, then we also have to uh, consider that the international community, community has a role to play and we cannot overlook them. So it is important that our participation in this uh, events are very, very important. And we believe, obviously, you're not going to get a yes or no. But your presence, if you need something, you must make your presence available and tell the world that, uh, you know, what you need. And through time, we can now, you know, get the right response or meet uh, the right person to give us what we're looking for. So it is, as I said before, it is networking and it is very, very good for us because we're looking for foreign direct investment. We stand at about over just over $4 billion in foreign investment. And a lot of investors are looking to invest in Nigeria. So we should be out there talking to the world about what we need. We have a lot of sectors that require investment. And Nigeria is a promising land. So again, the president is doing a wonderful job. And we want him to continue. Thank you. Well, we look forward to those investments that you've talked about, um, possibly in the coming days. Aliyu Audu is the Vice President, Nigerian Irish Business Association. Thank you for talking to us on the news. Thank you very much.